On the previous two episodes, we discussed how Vader was the target for an assassination plot by a grieving lord who blamed him for the death of his son, and how an attempt on Sidious' life led Vader to a strange temple where he was revered as a god before he destroyed it in the name of the Emperor. But on this video, we're finally going to see Vader's final confrontation with the Ninth Assassin. As Vader slowly walks away from the collapsing temple, the ground starts to shake as the moon's core rips the surface apart. Suddenly, beasts charge at Vader, likely panicking due to the explosions from the volcanoes around them. After hitting one of the beasts with a flying tree, Vader finally sees him, the assassin, the one behind Vader's trip across the galaxy. As the assassin dealt with the final beast, Vader warns him to watch his feet as they like to stomp. Knowing he'd lost the element of surprise and Assassin's best weapon, he attempts to flee to his ship. And when he arrives, Vader is waiting for him. I have finished my business on this moon, so I'll consider this pleasure. He ignites his blade and lashes at the Assassin, who blocks using his special Vibra Blade. Vader is impressed. The two continue to duel, however, Vader holds back. No ordinary man could elude a Sith like he did, kill two royal guards like he did or survive a full frontal attack by the deadliest man in the galaxy, as he did. The Empire could put a cutthroat like you to good use. Sorry, I already have a job, and I intend to finish it right now. They continue their bout. Vader persists even mocking the assassin, but he quickly begins to anger. He reminds the assassin that he supports the weak, those who can't defend themselves. Yet the assassin persists. He will not stand down to the Sith. The assassin is beaten to the ground, he is disarmed and his helmet dented. He tells Vader that he's a last resort for justice in a galaxy where there is none. Vader, furious at the assassin for denying him, plunges his blade into his back. I am justice. The assassin lays dead, possibly the most lethal killer in the galaxy, and he didn't stand a chance against the malignant lord. Vader's still furious, he boards the assassin's ship and follows the flight records all the way back to the swampy world, where he kills the assassin's benefactor, the Draconic Man. Then he goes to the icy world where this all started. The blind and deaf old lord sits in a throne, and a head is placed on his lap. He grins, believing the assassin has fulfilled the agreement, until he realises it's not Vader's head that he holds. Vader takes the mysterious crystal to Sidious, his master. He's proud of his apprentice, However, as the story comes to an end, we hear Sidious' monologue. It was Sidious who clouded Vader's judgement. Sidious knew what was on that moon. He knew the prophecy of the Headless Snake, that Vader could have chosen a different path and attempted to betray him. And if he did choose that path, Sidious was ready. Sidious has used the assassination attempt as a test, and he knew about the ancient prophecy and believed that he and Vader had defied it. Now, this is incredibly interesting as it suggests Sidious thought that after Vader's actions on the moon, Vader would forever be totally loyal to him. Perhaps he believed that this was the end of the prophecy of the Chosen One, that he had proven it false once and for all. Now, we know that this isn't true as years later Vader would kill Sidious on the Death Star, but it's interesting to think Sidious was this many steps ahead the whole time. But that's it for this video and this comic series. What do you think of the ninth assassin and Sidious's plot. Sorry for the lack of videos over the last few weeks, I've been working on assignments for uni, but within a week we should be back to normal and I've got several scripts ready to record, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Until then, we're going to have to have quite a slow upload period. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, please remember to like, share and sub as it's really appreciated and helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.